starting to hear thunder in the distance. But Waller was already dead. What am I going to do now? Do? You're free now, Lucy. Do whatever you want. to come with you. That's what I wanted to do. That's when Lucy decided to join Sarnie in a quest for her children. Sarnie and Lucy approached Grierson's slave yard to attempt to find Little Dealey and Tyler. Hold! This man took my children. Grierson! Wake up, can you hear me? Grierson, do you remember taking my children from the water place? You hit him too hard, he ain't there anymore. I'm sorry, if I knew you were coming, I would have laid off a tad. Maybe there's something in all those papers in the shack. We have to keep looking, there might be more paper on them. Two Negro children answered to Dealey and Tyler, sold to William Shivington of New Orleans without auction for $300. What's New Orleans? It's where we're going. It's where we're going. Sarney, Tyler, Two, and Lucy stop at Haven Hall for some corn when they are approached by the young and beautiful Miss Laura. You don't have to work like that. Slavery's done. The blue soldiers are killing it. You can get off that thing anytime you want. I'm not a slave. Not now. I work for Miss Laura for money. I don't believe in slavery. And if you each work for me, I can pay you $20 a month until I reach my destination. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to find my children in New Orleans. Why, that's perfect. That's where I'm headed. And that's how they came to meet Miss Tyler too, Lucy, and Bartlett approached Miss Laura's apartment. On the day of Miss Laura's party, William Shivington nearly handed Sarney's children to her. Hello, sir. Oh, take your hand, Jack. Yeah, sure. Thank you. For your troubles. Thank you. Why, hello. Hello. Miss Laura, how have you been? Good. Hello, well, sir. May I take your hand, Jack? Children. Are these our children, Sonny? I'll take care of this. If he touches them, I'll gut them like a pig. I told you I'd take care of this. Now, William, darling, something remarkable has happened. You simply won't believe. Can I have one of these and one of these? 30 cents, please. 30 is too high. 25. 27. Deal. Have a nice day. You too. This is Sarnie. She'll be buying from Miss Laura from now on. Do we have to take all of it back after we buy it? 
No, let us deliver right to Miss Thor's house. I'll be wanting those. Oh, you will, will you? How much do you want? About like this much. How much for this? Be about 30 cents. That's twice too much if you know it. Twice? It ain't even enough. Bring it down and we'll move on to another booth. Must be someone else around here, Swan, sure. But if you go, I won't be able to see your fancy smile again. Shining me won't help. Bring the shrimp down. I will if you tell me your name. Sarnie, now bring them down. I'm Stan, and I want you to come back to my booth again when we can just talk some. Will you do that? Not likely. You probably have a bunch of girls come and talk to you. Not like you, sorry. Not like you. I can't stand here and draw all day long. You send those shrimp to Miss Laura's. I also send a couple of those fish. Catfish? And don't be trying to charge an arm and a leg for it. How much is it? That'd be 20 cents a fish. Too much. All right, 15 cents. That was good. They they always act about twice as much as they figure to get. So he did good. Okay, class. Now, tell me what these letters are. B, B A, A G. G. All right. Now, send out these letters. The, the, uh, uh, A, A, G. G. Okay, now put the word together. Bag. Bag. Good. And now, for our fellow teacher, Miss DeVito, say this word. Twilight. They were in school. One of, I saw them. One of them was that Haggerty from the leather shop. You are sure? I saw him as clear as light. Does he know you saw him? I suppose so. He saw me. Well, I suppose I'll have a talk with him. My wife, she saw you said five at the school this morning. My wife's a liar. My wife, she don't lie. You're a <laughs> Oh! 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 Sonny awakens to Stanley half out of bed. What's the matter? Someone's a pounding on the door. Don't go. Let them down. Might be a neighbor on fly. Don't. When Miss Laura wasn't feeling well, she told Sarnie to call upon Dr. Hiram. She wants to see you. What's the matter? My heart has failed me. The doctor says I'm going to die. Oh, Sarnie, will you please come lie down next to me? I have some fear. Sarnie wakes up to find Miss Laura staring into her eyes. Oh, Sarnie, I always did like beautiful things.